rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. All right, so when we take a picture and we rotate it, we have to first care about our direction. Counterclockwise is the opposite of clock. Clock go this way, so counterclock go that way. 90 degrees tells you how much you turn. So the whole spin would be 360. So 90 out of 360 is a quarter of a turn. 180 would be a half a turn, in other words, upside down, and we don't care about the direction there. 270 would be three quarters of a turn, but here we have 90. So the method that I do is I take my picture, or in your case, you would take your page or the page that you're working on or the printout that you're working on, and you literally spin your page in this direction one quarter of a time. And what that looks like is you take your paper and you lay it sideways in this specific direction. So my answer is supposed to look like this triangle quadrilaterally looking thing standing up. I know my answer is supposed to look like this. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to write my points as they appear. So it's good that I don't have numbers on here so the negatives and positives don't throw me off. This A appears to be to the left and up. So I'm gonna write out my prime as if I'm going to the left and then up. So let's get specifics. In order to get from the origin to A, I go left one, two, three, up one, two, three, four. So A prime is left three, up four. Negative three, positive four. In order to get to D, I go from my origin left one, two, three, four, five, up one. So D prime was left five, negative five, up one, positive one. In order to get to M, I go left one, two, three, four, five, down one. So M prime is left five, down one, negative one. And to get to W, I start at my origin and I go left one, two, three, four, and go down one. So W prime is left four, down one. Now that I know what my picture is supposed to look like, I can take my picture, my page, whatever it is that I'm working on and put it back to normal, knowing very well that my answer is going to live somewhere around there. So let's draw these points out. I have A prime, which was negative three, four. So A prime start at the origin is left three up four. There's my A prime. So I'm starting to build my new image. That's my pre-image. Here's my new image. D prime is left five, up one. So I'm gonna go left one, two, three, four, five, up one. That was D prime. M prime was negative five, negative one. In other words, left five, down one. So M prime is left five down one, M prime, and W prime, I'm sorry, W prime is negative four, negative one. One, two, three, four, one, W prime. And now, of course, the part that I'm awful, awful, awful at, you connect the dots so you can see clearly that this is the exact same shape that you originally had just you know, flipped around a bit. That looks awful. But what we have is this guy spun one quarter of a turn. My shape, if I could draw better, doesn't change, doesn't get bigger, doesn't get smaller. It just spins around. Spins a right round, baby. It's from a song. But that's how you do rotations. You find out the direction, you take your paper, you spin it however many times you're supposed to, you write your points out as they appear, you fix your paper, you plot those points out, connect the dots, and then you can see you have the same exact shape just rotated around somewhere. That's how rotation is done.